All right, so let's check out what we have here. Looks like we got a little fenced in area. Oh yeah, here's all the students from my class. So um, I'll just tell you, there are 20 students in here. 12 of them are normal villager students and eight of them are creepers. And um, yeah, sorry about the creepers, but that's what happens when you do, don't do your homework, you get turned into a creeper. So what I wanna know is what percent of my students are creepers? So the fraction for creepers is, it's eight out of 20 of my students are creepers. What percent is that? So we take the fraction, eight out of 20, and we're gonna to have to turn it into a percent, which means percent, of course, is over 100. So you need to make it so that it's something over 100. Got it? All right, let's see if we can figure it out. Great, so you should have figured out that eight out of 20, to get 20 to 100, you multiply by five, and to, so then you have to do eight times five, which is 40, so it is 40%. 40% of my class are creepers. Let's, uh, let's let people out now. Come on, guys. Let's go back to the classroom and watch the rest of the video. Come on, everybody, follow me. Okay, so now I have all my favorite students here, because I like creepers. Um, let's watch the video about percents and fractions. Hi, I'm Peppy the Penguin. Let's learn about percent. Per means out of, and cent means 100. So 25% is really 25 over 100. Then it's easy to convert that to a decimal. 25 over 100 equals 0 0.25. And you already know that 25 over 100 can be simplified to 1 fourth. Divide by 25, divide by 25, and you get 1 fourth. Adios! Okay, hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Singer, and we're going to do some math. Specifically, we're going to do percents and fractions. Now, you've already had a little review with our friend Pepe the Penguin, so we're going to go over a few examples from the book. So, if you go to page 102, that's 102, you will see what I'm seeing. So, please go to 102 because I am going to want you to do stuff in the book as we do it here on the screen. So, the first example is converting a percent to a fraction, and the, this is really important to see simplest form. You're gonna always simplest do simplest form, which means you have to reduce the fraction. So 50%, of course, that's an easy one because that's one of the ones you had to memorize, right? So 50% means 50 over 100, and then you just reduce by dividing both sides by 50, and you get one half. All right, this one's a little bit harder. What if you have 55%? Well, that's gonna be 55 over 100. What, number goes into both. Well, I'm going to divide by 5 and divide by 5 and then I'm going to get 11 over 20 and that's what we have here, 11 over 20. So now you're going to try these examples. So I would like you to try letter A and on letter A is remember that's one of the ones that you were supposed to memorize so it should be easy. So letter A, go. Okay, so you should have figured out that 75% is 75 over 100. And if I divide both sides by 25, I get 3 over 4. Cool. All right, now you try letter B. Ready, go. All right, so letter B, we get 90 over 100, right? So it's always good to just take that number and throw it over 100. Sometimes you do this and that's all you can do. But in this case, this is pretty easy. We can divide both sides by 10. Divide by 10 and then you get 9 over 10, right? Cool. Now let's try letter C. Ready, go. So again, letter for 38%, it's 38 over 100. And then you're going to divide both sides by whatever we can divide by. So they're both even numbers, so then I'll just divide by 2. Sorry, it's supposed to be a division sign. Divide by 2, 
Uh, 100 divided by 2 is 50. And 38 divided by 2, 2 goes into that once with one left over. So that's going to be 19 over 50. So this will be 19 over 50. You get how to do that? Cool. Okay, so let's go to the next page, which is 103. Just flip the page to 103, and we're going to look at this example because it's a word problem and it has a table in it. It's really good practice. So this says the table shows the percent of each movie type rented during a month. This is back in the old days when people used to rent movies and not just watch them on Netflix. Anyway, what fraction of the rentals were action movies? So I looked through all these, and for this example, it's action movies, right? What percent? Well, so what percent is it? It's 35%, and so we have to turn that into a reduced fraction. So I have 35%, which becomes 35 over 100. Uh, um, what, should I, what should I divide by? Well, if there's a 5 and a 0 there, I know I can divide by 5, divide by 5, and that becomes 7 over 20. So action movies were rented 7 twentieths of the time. So now you have to do the same thing, but now it's horror movies. So you're going to look at horror movies and what percent and what turn that into a fraction. Ready, and remember, a reduced fraction. Ready, go. Okay, so you should see that it's 5%, which means 5 over 100, right? So what can we reduce by? Well, pretty simple. You're going to divide by 5, right? Divide by 5, divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So you should have as your answer 1 over 20. That's pretty easy, huh? Okay, so now let's look at the bottom part of the page. And now instead of going percents to fractions, we're doing the opposite. We're going fractions to percents. So they're giving you some uh, examples here. And it says write 6 8 as a percent. Well, let's, let's do a simpler one first. If I said do um, 3, oh dear, sorry, let me draw. If I said um, do 3 over 20, and I want you to turn that into a percent, Remember, percent always means something over 100, right? So I'd say, well, 20 times 5 is 100. So then 3 times 5, remember you have to do the same thing top and bottom. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 over 100 means 15%, right? That's pretty simple. So they're giving you ones that actually takes an extra step first. So here they have 6 over 8. They say, write 6 over 8 as a percent. So what they're telling you to do, because you can't do 8 times something is 100. It doesn't work out that way. So they're saying reduce it first. So if we do 6 eighths, that is the same as 3 fourths. You divide it by 2 each time. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and you get 3 fourths. Well, 3 fourths, hopefully you have that memorized what percent that is. But in case you don't, 3 fourths, now you can do 3 fourths equals something over 100. And so you do 3, so 4 times 25 is 100. 3 times 25 is 75. And when you have 75 over 100, that means 75%. Because this little percent thing, I always like to think of it as like, you take the 100, and that's like the 100. It's sort of the same thing there, right? So 75%, 75 over 100 are the same thing. So now you're going to do letter E. It's the same thing. You're going to have to take 9 over 12. You're going to have to reduce it. So you're going to make it a new fraction. And then you're going to make that equal to something over 100. Right? But since you can't do 12 times something is 100, I'll give you a hint, reduce this, divide by something, you're going to get a new fraction, and then that you're going to do times. So first you're going to do divide something, then you're going to do times something, and you'll get that number. Ready, go. Okay, well, you should have figured out that here you can divide both sides by 3, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and oh my gosh, it's just like our example up there. So 4 times 25 is 100. 3 times 25 is 75. So this is 75%. Or sorry, 75 over 100, which is 75%. Got it? And you can look at the picture. And you can see, look, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 sections. And they've colored in 1, 2, 3 of them. So they colored in 3 out of 4, and which is 75%. Awesome. Okay, so now we're on the guided practice on page 104. Go to 104 guided practice. I do want you to do these in the book as well as do it with us here on the computer. So 
just as a reminder, whenever you have a percent, and I'm going to give you like, um, I'll do an easy one, 20%. If I want to convert 20% to a fraction, you first put it over 100, because that's what percent means. 20% is 20 over 100. And then you just reduce, right? Divide both sides by 20 in this case. Divide by 20, divide by 20, and you get 1 over 5, right? Okay, so that will help you with uh, problems 1, 2, and 3 here. You're going to throw it over 100 and then reduce if you can, because it's possible that you're not going to be able to reduce, but if you can, reduce. So let's try number 1. Ready, go. All right, so number 1 is 15%, which really is 15 over 100, right? So let's divide by, oh, I don't know, 5, right? Divide by 5. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So that means this is 3 over 20. Cool. Let's try number 2. Ready, go. Well, this is an easy one. 80 over 100, right? 80% is 80 over 100. And you can just cross off the zeros, right? And then you get 8 over 10. And you may think that you're done, but of course, these are both even numbers. That means you can always divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2, so I'll put a little divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So your answer is 4 over 5. Great. Now let's try number 3. Ready? Go. Aha. Now this one, it might be so easy that it tripped you up. So 33%, of course, percent is over 100. So you do 33 over 100. And guess what? That's all you can do. You can't reduce anything. There's no number that goes into both 33 and 100. So that is your final answer. Okay, so now for these, we're changing it from fraction to percent, right? And so as a reminder, let's do one. If, that, if I gave you 7 over, I don't know, 10, then remember, percent means something over 100. So I want to convert this to be something over 100. Well, 10 times what is 100? Oh, well, that's easy. 10 times 10 is 100. So that means I have to do times 10 up here, which is 70. So my, um, if you have 70 over 100, you know that that is the same as 70%. Easy, right? OK, so now I'd like you to try number four. Ready, go. All right, well, that should be pretty easy. If you, let's, it works exactly the same way. You have 3 over 10. We want it to be something over 100. So times 10 times 10 is 100. 3 times 10 is 30. 30 over 100 means, remember, percent is per 100. It's just 30%. So that's what you should have here, 30%. OK, now let's do 3 over 20. Ready, go. All right, so this is going to be the same thing. 3 over 20 is something over 100. So by now, since we've done so many examples like this, you should just have it memorized that 20 times 5 is 100. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 over 100 is 15 por ciento. Remember, so in Spanish, percent is por ciento, which is like for each 100. So it's the same thing. All right, now you can do number 6. Ready, go. All right, well, 2 over 5. We have 2 over 5 equals blank over 100. And just as we saw here, 20 times 5 is 100. So 5 times 20 is 100. So 2 times 20. Remember, same thing top and bottom. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 over 100 means 40%. Easy peasy, right? All right, so let's try number 7. Ready, go. All right, so you should have read. Elsa ran 7 out of 10 days. If I was going to turn that into a fraction, it would look like 7 out of 10, right? What percent of days did she run? So I have to turn this into a percent. Oh, didn't I use this exact example before? I think I did by accident. So 7 over 10, I want it to be something over 100. And so 10 times 10 is 100. 7 times ooh, 10 is 70. And we know that 70 over 100 is the same as 70%. And that's our answer, 70%. OK, one last problem. This isn't in the book, but this is going to be worth mega points. Also, this problem is very similar to one that I put on the extra credit. So this will help you. 
So it says, Mr. Singer gave a test that had 20 problems on it. That's important. You got 11 problems correct. What percent did you get correct? So first, we're going to turn it into a fraction. So and then turn that into a percent. And before we start, there's one little tip I'm going to give you. If you got 11 out of 20 right, so if you had gotten 10 out of 20, you would have got half of them right. So this is 11 out of 20, so that's a little bit more than half. So when you come up with your percent, it should be a little bit more than half or a little bit more than 50%. And that's how you know that you're probably right or at least close. Okay, so ready, go. All right, so you got 11 out of 20, so that's 11 out of 20. And remember, percent is over 100, so it's going to be something over 100. And we know that, I'm going to change colors here, we know that 20 times 5 is 100, and 11 times 5 is 55. So 55 over 100 is 55 percent. And remember, we said that 11 out of 20 is a little bit more than half. And since 50% is half, 55 is a little bit more than half. So yes, you got it right. You get a happy face. Got it? Cool. All right. Um, your homework. Here's what I found. Nobody does their homework. Hardly anybody. So the homework is page 105, independent practice. Um, do all the problems on it. But if you get stuck, we're going to just do the problems in class. So I'm going to say, you do not have to do page 105 for homework right now. We will do it in class. But if you think that you're going to be a little bit slow in class or it takes you a little bit longer to do the problems, go ahead and get started now and you can like get ahead of everybody. So you can do 105 right now, page 105. Or if you'd rather wait, you can wait. But I'll tell you this, if you finish now and you get all the problems right, then when we're in class, you can leave the class early. I'll, I'll dismiss you early if you've already gotten all of these done. But you got to get them right. Okay, that's all I have to tell you. Thank you. Singer out. Hey, everybody. I just want to let you know that that Pepe the Penguin math animation I made using Scratch programming. We'll be doing more of this this year. So check it out.